Yeah, there's a new commercial running in Israel right now. It is sparking a lot of anger in the Arab world. It shows a man, an Arab man, dressed in traditional clothing, and he sees a new Nissan that's very fuel efficient, and he throws a temper tantrum, kind of going out and hitting the car. It's got a lot of Arabs very upset. Mike Tobin is live in the Jerusalem newsroom with more on that. Mike, this is really, this has really got some eyebrows raised over there. It does. And Trace, the joke is or the uh, commercial is supposed to be funny, therefore get people's attention and sell some cars. But the jokes play on old stereotypes and the Arab world, as you mentioned, isn't laughing. The ad running on Israeli television depicts an Arab man in traditional clothing leaving a hotel. When he spots the new Nissan Tida, which boasts greater fuel efficiency and therefore less oil consumption, he throws himself on the car in a fit of rage. The actor says, you destroyed my home. May hawks poke at you day and night. May the sun melt you and God take you. The commercial concludes with the sentiment, when you consume the least fuel, it's obvious they won't like you in the oil emirates. The Saudi satellite channel NBC, one of the most widely viewed in the Arab world, got a hold of the ad and led their newscast with it. The anchor sets up the report, saying the sparking of hatred and the exploitation of racism are the means to accomplish financial profits in Israel. Hani al-Wafa, a popular political commentator who works with the blessing of the Saudi government, called for a boycott of Nissan products and demanded an apology. I think Nissan has made a big mistake in sparking these inclinations. I think the Arab buying force is much bigger than the Israeli one for this product. Now, the ad firm which made the commercial here in Israel said all of the actors who played Arabs in the commercial are Arabs. They all understood it was a joke. The Nissan importer says this has been a very successful ad for them. Trace? Live for us in Israel. Mike, thanks very much.